Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about traveling with a tactical pen, and specifically, can you bring it onto a plane? Why carry a tactical pen in the first place? Well, I feel that when it comes to everyday carry items, a tactical pen will fly under the radar a lot more than other everyday carry items that we're used to having on our person. And now when we're talking about traveling, just going to a different state in the United States, everything tends to change. Now you couple that with flying internationally, where uh, a lot of these other countries uh, have no idea what the Second Amendment is, and uh, consider most things that you're carrying on you lethal, you need to be careful. You need to uh, check yourself and be sure that you're operating with the right tools in the right location. And having a pen, and just saying, hey, this is a pen, this is a writing utensil, I found that you'll get much less scrutiny than anything else that you would choose to carry, especially for self-defense. In addition, uh, post-encounter, if something bad were to happen and you were in a self-defense situation, and now you're in front of a judge or a jury or a court or a magistrate or magistrate, whatever, and you need to plead your case, you can basically say, hey, I was using a pen to protect myself, I had a pen in my pocket, it was a self-defense uh, situation, and uh, it's what I had, it's what I utilized. Once again, you're probably going to be looked upon more favorably than if you use something else such as a knife. Another good point of carrying a tactical pen is that the business end on these pens is usually a glass breaker. So in a rescue situation from a vehicle, it will come in handy to help you uh, rescue somebody, whether it's a person, whether it's an animal. So uh, once again, having those options and being able to have a tool that is not only good for self-defense, but also this business end or skull crusher is also a glass breaker. And uh, finally, another reason for me to carry a tactical pen is that I'd rather have options. I'd rather have an option to be able to do something to protect myself as opposed to having you, no. no options or even less limited options. So, uh, you know, keep in mind, I also do train with this pen quite often, so don't just think you're gonna have a tactical pen, put it in your pocket and a situation arises and you're gonna be good to go. Keep in mind, training, training, training. And that goes regardless of the tool that you choose to carry. Now, I wanna share with you four tips or guidelines that I follow while going through airport security that uh, has done well as far as me being able to get my tactical pen or pens through airport security. The first point is how you carry yourself in line while you're waiting for security. Remember, everybody's job there is to observe and look for things that are different or telltale signs. So that's their job, that's what they're doing probably eight to 12 hours a day. Now the way you carry yourself, your attitude, the way you're dressed, respect for authority, all of those things is what's going to pretty much factor if they're going to scrutinize you more or not all tactical out and having a little bit of an attitude well guess what they're most likely going to say well this is the random person that we're going to search or we're gonna search your bags just because we can and you know you've been an asshole and basically now we want to mess with you a little bit so keeping that in mind you want to avoid as much scrutiny as possible so uh, be careful in how you carry yourself when I have my uh, tactical pen on me and it's usually in my airport go bag or one of my packs that I'm carrying with me, I have it mixed in with other writing utensils. So I'm not gonna just have it singled out on like the Molly attachments or anything like that. I'm gonna put it in one of the zipper pockets and add some Sharpies, some pencils, other pens, and just kind of have everything in there together. So once again, as it's going through that x-ray machine or even if they further inspect it, it's in there with a bunch of pens. It's not a tool that's by itself that they're gonna pick up and making it even easier for them with process of elimination to say, oh, this is the thing that was kind of looking strange in your pack. Now, when I'm traveling, I'm with a tactical pen, and especially overseas and especially through an airport, I want to think about the pen being as least tactical looking or scary looking as possible. So if I have something like this uh, from the Atomic Bear, it looks uh, pretty beefy, right? As far as their SWAT pen here, you know, just kind of looks at some, like something that if I was working security and didn't know much about tactical pens, I'm gonna say, hey, this looks a lot different and this looks kind of scary and this looks kind of tactical and I like it, so I'm gonna keep it, right? <laughs> well, not that that's what happens, but you know, in my head, that's what happens. 
now I'm going to look at something like this, like this uh, Rebel pen that I like to travel with because to me it just looks like a regular pen. So when it's in there bunched up with my other writing utensils, it gets much less scrutiny. So once again, the type and the design of your tactical pen will also bode in, the, in factoring in if you're going to have success or not uh, as far as bringing your tactical pen on a plane. And my last tip is to keep less tactical stuff in that same bag that you're carrying your tactical pen in. But in my pack, I'll try to keep the least amount of stuff. I'll have more of my technology things and my GoPro and my headphones and things that I would need on a plane um, mixed in there, of course, with my tactical pen. And once again, why? Because of less scrutiny. Kind of going back to the same scenario of mixing my tactical pen with other writing utensils. Well, if they're going to, if the thing's going through the x-ray machine and they're just like, well, that looks iffy and that looks iffy and that looks iffy, what are the chances of them not scrutinizing your bag any further? When I am traveling, and luckily these tactical pens are not very expensive, I like to have multiple ones. So of course I'll have what I have in my carry-on, but things happen, right? And it really depends on the person that's working. I've been very lucky so far, but if I wasn't lucky and I did get my tactical pen confiscated, the last thing that I want to do is get to my destination, especially when it's overseas, and now I have access to nothing. You know, that way you have that peace of mind that if something happens at the airport, you do have your backup plan in your check-in luggage. So bottom line, if you do want to carry a tactical pen with you, overseas and especially being able to bring it onto a plane go ahead and follow the experience that i've shared with you in this video it's worked well for me and i'm talking about flying internationally well over a hundred thousand miles in the past uh, you know two three years so uh it's not something i take lightly it's something that's certainly part of my lifestyle and something that gives me more confidence uh, when i do get to a situation especially uh you know places where i haven't been before where I'm on a teaching scenario, I'm by myself, I really know anybody, I'm not going to meet anybody for a couple days, and I'm just uh, walking around aimlessly in some strange country. Well, being able to have something to protect myself as opposed to nothing is basically what I choose. So I hope you found this information helpful, and uh, stay safe out there.